cabbage white butterfly is one of the most common visitors to our gardens. You have probably seen them flying innocently around your plants, especially over those plants of the brassica family, such as cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli. These butterflies are really pretty. You can easily recognize them by their typical off-white color and the black spots on their wings. Unfortunately, the reason they like to visit our gardens is for an opportunity to lay their eggs. They normally lay their eggs on the underside of leaves of cabbage and broccoli, but they can also do it on Brussels sprouts, Chinese cabbage, celery, beetroot and rocket. After a few days, the eggs hatch and the hungry caterpillars come out to eat as if there was no tomorrow. It is amazing how much damage these caterpillars can do in a very short period of time. If left uncontrolled, they can easily kill your plants or at least severely reduce their production potential. I assume that most people that grow their own food would rather use non-chemical pest control methods. In this case, we can use physical or mechanical techniques to control the cabbage white butterfly. The first method, and probably the most effective one, is to prevent the butterflies from laying their eggs in the first place. We can do this in two ways. One, we can trap or kill the butterflies when we see them in the garden. You can use a butterfly net if you have one, but a fly swatter would work just as well. The problem is that you have to be there just when the butterflies come, and you can be sure they will always come back as soon as you go inside your home. A more practical approach is to cover your plants with a net, so the butterflies will not be able to reach and lay their eggs on your plants. They will have to keep flying until they find a less protected garden. A less effective method is to try to control the caterpillars after the eggs hatch. This method is not very effective because these blue-green caterpillars can hide very well and you have to have very good eyesight to spot them. Also, it is time-consuming and it would not work if you have many plants. However, if you see signs that the caterpillars are already eating your plants, you have no option but to find them and kill them. Look on the underside of leaves and also pay particular attention along the leaf veins. Also check in the middle of the plants where the new and very tender small leaves are beginning to grow. Small caterpillars just love to hide in there. Once you find the caterpillars, you can pick them and give them to your chickens if you have some. Or you can just simply kill them by squishing them with your thumb. If the caterpillars are already too large for this, you may prefer to squish them with your foot. Either way, this will probably be the least popular job in the garden. But someone has to do it. <laughs>